Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Fonte Cabrillo on the video, and this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12 beta 5, developer beta 5, uh, public beta 4, to an iPhone SE on iOS 3.3. So, as always, I'm right, just gonna put up both devices here 12 beta 5, developer beta 5, um, and okay, beta 4 public, and this time for 3.3. Usually this is the fastest device when it comes to booting up. Let's see which one will be faster here. Definitely 12 beta 5 developer or public beta 4. Good stuff there. Really amazing. All right, guys, so both phones here have nothing in the background. So we're going to start a test with the calendar. That was faster than I was 12 beta 5. Good stuff there. Going for photos as well. 12 beta 5. Identical. Good stuff. Going for maps. That was faster on 3.3, clock, 12 beta 5, weather, 12 beta 5, good stuff there, really good, going for stocks, should be faster on 3.3, it is, but actually not that big of a difference, phone dialer, definitely 12 beta 5, safari, wow, that was faster on 12 beta 5, good stuff there, let's go for the Apple logo, good stuff there, I mean, I mean, compared to the iPhone 6 on 12.5, 10.3.3, there was a big difference here. Definitely, these phones are faster. I mean, I iPhone SE is way better here. As you can see, coming out, going for iTunes Store. Okay, definitely, that was faster on 10.3.3. So, going for Geekbench 4, about the same identical Instagram. SE is really still super fast, guys. Okay, that was faster on 3.3, Subway Surfers. I mean, this phone is disguised as a, as a 5S, but it's super fast, not a 5S at all. Okay, that was faster on 3.3, sadly, 10, 10 per on 2. Loading what appeared first here on 10. Okay, the difference was minimal, guys. I mean, nothing like the 6, iPhone 6, Mario Run. Here appears the dude and wow, so this one was actually faster than Google Earth. Slightly faster than Temple 3.3, YouTube. And that seems, oh, actually was faster than 12, beta 5, get stuff there, Jetpack Joyride. Okay, definitely 10.3.3 was faster. I mean, this one did catch up, but still. Definitely 10.1 there. Yelp. I mean, about the same, to be honest. eBay. Okay, that was uh, like the same almost. I'm going for Snapchat. That was a win on 12 out of 5. I'm going for into the benchmark. That was even faster than 12 beta 5, great there. And now guys gonna go for some multitasking, calendar, photos, great performance, camera. Okay, it had to refresh 3.3, definitely 12 won here. Maps, uh, sadly it's refresh on 12. Clock, had to refresh on 12. I mean, I did not issue with the I iPhone 5, 6 as well. Weather, uh, had to refresh as well. Phone, both very good. Stocks, both very good. Safari. Both solid. App Store, both very good here. iTunes Store, great. Image 4, great. Settings, solid. Instagram, Subway Surfers, Front 2, both are really good here. Mario Run, YouTube, Google Earth, Jetpack Joyride. Yelp, Snapchat, finally onto the benchmark, that refreshes all the time, so it's not counted. So um, definitely uh, this phone was better. I mean, this phone had to, the iOS 12 beta 5 one, had to refresh a couple of apps at the beginning, but then every, all third party apps were getting in the background, except for onto the benchmark, of course. All right, guys, now going for Geekbench 4 test. All right, guys, both phones are done here. I want to say that both single-core and multi-core score are better on the iPhone SE running developer beta 5, public beta 4. 
and yeah guys i mean both were super fast in the test i mean I, I even it was sometimes faster on the is 12 ram was the issue here to be honest all right guys there you have it that was a comparison i want to say that uh, public beta 5 uh ios 12 of course wasn't perfect i mean what sometimes it was faster than ios 10 and sometimes 10 was faster uh, ram management was better on 10 definitely guys ios 12 had to refresh like three or four maybe five apps at the beginning everything at the, at the end was kept in the background battery wise even guys definitely ios 10 is better i mean m my phone on ios 10 has a perfect battery on and the one on ios 12 has a some weird level but still guys i mean the difference was big like this phone the ios 10 was kept 100 percent the other one dropped 91 percent so there is some difference of course so yeah guys i mean stick to 10 if you're there and if you're public beta 3 or developed beta 4 stay there so i hope you guys like the video subscribe for more content and peace out